If you've just found a black stone and you're wondering, is this a real black diamond? This guide is for you. I'm going to show you simple, safe, at-home screening tests. They won't replace a lab report, but they can help you rule out common fakes before you visit a professional. First, gather a few items. A bright light or your phone's flashlight, a magnifying glass or jeweler's loop, a clean cloth, a glass of ice, a cup of water with a piece of thread or dental floss, a small digital scale if you have one, and optional, a UV flashlight and a basic diamond tester. Start with a close look. Black diamonds are opaque with a strong, almost metallic luster. Under a loop, you may see tiny pits, natural grain, and scattered dark inclusions. These are normal. Be cautious if you notice mold lines or round bubbles. Those usually indicate glass or plastic. Do the fog test. Breathe gently on the stone. Real diamond conducts heat quickly, so the fog should clear in about a second. If it stays misty for several seconds, think glass or crystal. Keep in mind, moissanite also clears quickly, so this test only rules out softer fakes. Try the ice test. Place the stone on an ice cube. Diamonds pull heat rapidly and can start melting the ice at the contact point. Lack of reaction doesn't prove it's fake, but quick melting supports high thermal conductivity. Moissanite can behave similarly, so treat this as a supporting clue. If you can, check specific gravity. Weigh the stone in air, then suspend it in water using thread and weigh again. Divide the first number by the difference. Diamond is around 3.5. Cubic zirconia is much heavier, typically 5.6 to 6. A result near 6 suggests CZ. Around 3.5 keeps diamond possible, though some natural stones overlap. Use a UV flashlight. Many black diamonds show little to no fluorescence because they're so opaque. Strong neon glow can be a red flag for certain imitations. No glow doesn't prove it's diamond, but it supports your case. If available, try a basic diamond tester. Most measure heat flow. Black diamonds often register as diamond, but results can vary due to graphite inclusions. Test several spots with firm contact. A consistent diamond reading is encouraging, especially combined with the other tests. Avoid scratch tests on glass or tile. You can damage surfaces, chip the stone, and still get misleading results. Also skip any chemical or acid tests at home. If your stone clears fog quickly, feels right for its size, shows little UV reaction, and pings as diamond on a tester, Take it to a certified gemologist for confirmation. A professional evaluation or lab report is the only way to be sure. Thanks for watching. I hope these easy checks help you decide your next step. If this was helpful, share it with someone who loves gemstones.